Hey, yes, Chandler. But you have fabulous hair. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Oh my gosh. It, it, Vietnamese? Yeah. yeah. Quaffed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> it is tall <laughs> and lush and thick. So many <laughs> men our age would die for that head of hair. <laughs> Thank you. And you both look fantastic as always. Um, now, uh, I only have a couple of questions, uh, but I'd like both of you to answer. I, I, I want both of your inputs, uh, but uh, feel free to pass, of course, if you want. Um, but I'll, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, Amy's inner demons are related to generational trauma, while Danny, who expresses feelings of prejudice in moments throughout the series, struggles with assuming culpability. In their clashing, is Beef asking Asian American audiences to find a way to reconcile the two? <laughs> Can you repeat that question again? <laughs> sure, I sure. Uh, so basically, uh, Amy struggles with generational trauma, and Danny uh, struggles with assuming responsibility for his own actions. Um, and so, it, in their clashing, to, is Beef asking Asian American audiences to find a way to reconcile the two? I mean, do you have? So, I mean, you go first. I mean. I think it's interesting like these days like we're you know we are in a in a great landscape of being able to see stories told from a lot of different perspectives and told from an authentic place from a lot of different worlds that we usually didn't get to see but then at the end of it when you really pick peek behind the curtain of like the culture it's really like it's for everybody you know like everybody got generational trauma um, we just have like maybe Asian Americans have like a specific one or like it it like mm. mutates to be a specific one. But I would say like I have so many friends that are going through such similar things that, um, you know, perhaps for an Asian American viewer, they might have to reconcile in a very specific way. But I hope whoever watches this feels just like, oh, yeah, like my parents fucked up, too. Like <laughs> and I got to deal with that. And. Um, it's in my body, and um, that feels for me like the thing that really I connected to with this with this story. Yeah, I think in general with this show, we ha have never set out an intention to put forth any message or um, any like certain viewpoint. We're just sort of trying our best to be honest and. Uh, like, and like, you know, show these like emotions that feel very real to us that mm. we've experienced, you know? So, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, uh, thank you. Uh, really quickly, just one last question. What do you hope audiences will take away from watching Beef? Um, well, we don't necessarily have like an agenda in terms of like what we want people to take away. I think like for us, like if we've done our job, then hopefully this feels like a mirror for everything and you'll just kind of get reflected back to you, whatever you're going through. And, um, you know, we've said this before, but like, I just hope it feels like a warm, comforting Snuggy. hug. Snuggy. A snuggy. A snuggy. <laughs> yeah. A funny ass snuggy. A big sham wow towel yeah. with a hole up your head. <laughs> um, I, I just hope people are entertained and and feel connected mm. feel more connected yeah mm. and less awesome yeah well thank you so much it was great talking to you both thanks thanks, thanks so much